Guys, so for one, this is gonna be a video breaking down how to grow your platform a little bit, especially if you're in the dog space or just in business. If you have no plan, you heard it before. They keep recycling the Denzel saying, a plan without a is simply, that's what he does on stage. If you have no plan, you cannot, you can't make yourself you believe you're gonna be successful. So I told you that I was a teacher and since we were at Hunter's house, you remember the blackboard that was right there? I was writing on that book. Then I said, ooh, I'm gonna give me another whiteboard. I love visuals. Guess where I learned that from? I'm not friendly with my father, but that man who grabbed a whiteboard to stay off my beat my ass. That's the truth. That is the truth. So, someone also says, hey, literally I saw a message. Hey, can you help me sell my Frenchies? For one, I'm never gonna help you sell any dogs, to be clear. Anybody. <laughs> but I also went to his page, I just looked. My oh, man, you, you had dogs and you didn't post one thing about the dogs. You know why we still have the dogs? I told them there are certain numbers that we need to hit before they leave, but how do we hit those numbers? We gotta do the work. So, and every time we have a litter of puppies, bullies, what happens? You guys see puppy, 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 puppy. So you start feeling like you're missing out. Like, man, I gotta have one of them boogers. It's tough. And you watch them grow. And we're not just talking physics. We're talking like, yo, I love King Tut. I love Hera. I love Chimera. I love Junior. You love watching. You love Bam Bam. I said one of the messages I ain't responding to. Where's Bam Bam? I love cha-cha. Why is that? Because I write a plan out every time about how we're going to not market, but educate you on where the opportunity lies with getting a dog that could change your life. So even today, I got up, I said, you know what? See if I can fill a page up with the French Bulldog because now that they're a little bit more active, they've got their second shot, we'll give them their third shot here soon, we're gonna push them. We're gonna push them and see how far we can push them and we're gonna have fun doing it. Therefore, we're not Frenchy people. <laughs> this is my first and only litter. I have, to, I have to leverage and capitalize on it while we're here. And I don't mean from a financial standpoint, the pups, if you're asking, they're 5,000 and 6,000 if you want breeding rights. It's that simple. I just, at some point you want them going, but they're at least worth that much. Any of the dogs come from us, get this type of care, they're worth that much, period. But I'm not gonna rape people. Oh man, it's a $30,000 Frenchie, it's not. <laughs> it's not a ten thousand dollar French, and I paid eleven point. I, we paid eleven five for the mom for Asha. She was Euro Hero. They hit me with all the color stuff. I don't care about the color. I care about a good dog, and I hope that you guys get a good dog. And so far, I'm seeing a lot of issues, and those are my concerns too. Because you're like, hey, what does cause the dog problems? How is their breathing? Let's look at their nose structure. What are some things they could potentially run the checkup later in life? So I would encourage you to do this. If you're trying to grow your platform, write a plan out, write a plan out. And if you can't fill a page up with questions, I'm gonna show them everything. <laughs> if you can't fill a page up with questions, if you can't fill a page up with questions that you answer with actions, if you don't have a point, meaning a reason and a destination to take people places, or them somewhere as you continue to highlight the journey of you and your dogs and your breeding program, then you're probably not gonna get too far. I repeat, buying a dog and selling a dog are two different things. And I think that's where some people get it, it, confused. Man, I bought this dog, man, I did this breeding, and now ain't nobody buying them. Why would they? They have no clue who you are, what the dog can do. And even more importantly, it realistically has no meaning or purpose. I've heard people, man, my dog speak for themselves. My dog ain't got no mouth. Ain't got a mouth, but it cannot speak English. So who speaks for the dog? I do. At times, Jamarcus does, Stan does, and other people who come and get one of our dogs say, man, I love this dog, man. Thank you. Thank you for the dog. So, if you're trying to grow your platform, you need purpose, you need point, you need reason. And remember, buying a dog means nothing if you can't sell the dog, especially if you're going to breed. Otherwise, buy the dog, love the dog, take care of the dog, have fun with the dog, enjoy life with the dog, and move on. You got questions about realistically, really how to grow your platform? I'm thinking about starting a mastermind going in January where we be, I become a version of your mentor. And a version meaning people keep buying dogs and asking me questions. I'm like, why you didn't ask uh, the person you bought the dog from? Here's the thing, you bought a dog from somebody you didn't trust? It's frightening. Well, I just trust you more. Makes sense. I expose myself like a nerve. I share everything. I have nothing to hide. The good, the bad, the ugly. Take care of your dogs.